And hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Chino's Good Time in Gaming. Now, like I had mentioned in the previous episode, um, I did some off-screen grinding and uh, I want to show you the fruits of my labor. Uh, well, well, you'll just hear the ship dealer and I can show you. Look at that! Half a mil, half a million. Got a little more than I needed, but this will do. Five hundred thirty-one million seven hundred. Okay, so I also did a little of a. Uh, I can't remember from back in the day, but I double checked and I googled up, and apparently the only thing that you can transfer over if you were to just sell your previous ship through the dealer is anything that stays on the ship will be sold uh will be thrown in as as in collateral for the trade this here your your radar and if you have a jump drive which we never bought yet i never bought a jump right jump drive on the ship yet i don't think so sell uh the armor afterburner upgrade no no jump drive so the only thing that can be transferred over is the jump drive, which we don't have, and this thing right here, whatever this thing. We have the Iris Mark II. But we're going to sell this one and get a different one, and I'll show you what I mean uh, by transferring this over. Um, we're going to sell this one because we're going to get ourselves a new ship. For, for, th for the purposes <laughs> of the storyline of this playthrough, and you want to make it... Um, because the game is going to get a lot harder as we do the storyline. So uh, to do that, I'm going to purchase the Centurion, which is probably the best ship that you can get in this game. So that's why we grinded so much money here. So let me sell this. Okay, I don't need that. I want to get this. The best one. 100,000, right? And just buy. There we go. I already got the whole map for the Gemini Quadrant. Gemini Sector, sorry. All right. There's the radar. You can see it changed from that circular disc to a more, I guess you could say, oval shape. And so the guy does really, the guy rips you off when I believe you sell your ship with stuff on it. So what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to sell everything. Everything. Every single thing. Uh, even the shield generator. Engine upgrade. Afterburner. The armor. And did I have any missiles? I don't think I did. No. Nothing to sell. Everything's gone. Perfect. All right, let's go on over. Let's go on over and buy the ship. So, Galaxy, Orion, Centurion. We can go through the list here, and he'll give you a detailed explanation of each ship. Like, let's click on the Orion. You want to buy an Orion? I'm telling you, you do. You do a lot of risky runs. You look the type. Let me tell you something. The Orion may not be fast, but she's a regular tank. She has the thickest armor and the best shields of any ship on the open market. Sure, the cargo space is limited, but she'll keep you and your cargo safe. Get it? This ship has something for everybody. Merchants have cargo protection, and mercs can fly with confidence that they'll come back in one piece. The Orion has racks for two guns, a weapon or tractor beam, and the rear turret. A great buy at only 75,000 credits. Of course, you'd get a trade-in for your ship, and for the extras, leaving you with a few credits for new accessories. So, you want one or what? Uh, well, no, we're going to reject them. Um, I tried the Orion back in the day. I'll tell you. I didn't think you would. You look like a window shopper. No hard feelings, pal. Let me know if you change your mind. All right, so, yeah. Um, what I meant to say is uh, I won't buy the Orion. I'll let you know why. Um yeah, it is it is fairly tanky. I mean, it has really good armor. 
has uh, level 5 shields. Uh, the only issue is that it's not that fast. I mean, it's a little bit faster than the Taurus. Uh, but I feel it's a bit underpowered because you can only have two guns on it. And you lose uh, a weapon rack. So you can't have two missile launchers on it, just one. And I feel because it it's a bit sluggish, no, no better than the Taurus. Uh, regardless of how thick the shields are, um, it's it's basically a sitting fat target because they count and they're gonna just drop your shields really fast. And we're in a lot of missions we were already outnumbered and we destroyed them with two missile launchers, right? Rather than now having one. So, I mean, if anyone wanted to try it, you can go ahead. It's a bit of a challenge. It'd be very, very challenging if you go through the storyline with this ship here. Uh, let's look at the galaxy. We won't get this either, but see what he says. Checking out the galaxy class merchant ship. Good choice. She's not as flashy as some ships, but she sure is practical. You get a roomy cockpit, loads of cargo space, and you can add top and bottom turrets if you feel you need more firepower. Did I mention she's a fast ship as merchant vessels go? No? Listen, if you can't afford a Drayman, and who the hell can these days? You'll find the Galaxy fills your shipping needs. And it's a steal at only 150000 We can give you credit for your old ship, along with your add-on module. What's left is in your account. So, how about flying a Galaxy home today? We're going to reject him. Oh, well. Think it over a little, and get back to me, okay? Okay. Uh, I've flown this, too, um, uh, years ago when I played this uh, as a young guy. Uh, well... I mean, you can get this. Uh, I mean, if you're more into, like, say, role-playing and whatnot, uh, yeah, this has a crap load of cargo space. Like, he wasn't kidding about that. Lots and lots of cargo space. So, I mean, if you find the right market to buy from low and then you want to ferry it over to to a market where there it's in high in demand, you can make some good credits, you know, and role-play that way if you'd like. Um... But I feel like the way they've made this game, Privateer, it's uh, it's more on the storyline, if anything, right? And the storyline gets really interesting as you play through it. So, And for that, I feel this is the best buy. This is the best buy right here. You'll see in a minute. So let's get the Centurion from this guy. I see you're looking at the Centurion. Hell of a ship. As you can see, the Centurion is a heavy fighter. Note the racks for four guns, two weapons, and of course, a rear turret. Beautiful, eh? Look at those hard edges, the aerodynamic sleekness. Did you know the Mercenaries Guild has endorsed the model 2069 as the best publicly available fighter? The Centurion is a real bargain, priced at 200,000 credits. I'll use your old ship as a trade-in, including any extras. Any credits left will be credited to your account. So how about it? Interested? <laughs> <laughs> the dude sounds like a used car salesman, but <laughs> yeah, we're gonna get this ship. Uh, this is the one we want. You certainly know a good deal when you see one, friend. You'll find your new ship fueled up and waiting on the landing pad for you. Your payment will be deducted automatically. Have a good one. All right, cool. We did it. So let's go over to repair and upgrade, and there is our brand new Centurion. Now that guy mentioned. Uh, turrets on the other ships, the Orion, the Galaxy, and this ship here. Uh, the turrets do not, uh, and I've been looking for, maybe I thought I f missed something back in the day, but apparently the turrets do not fire automatically. I mean, there's no special AI or nothing that will make a target and fire someone in the back of you. But for right now, we're not probably going to, probably not going to get any turrets for the ship. Doesn't need it. Oh, let me uh, show you this. So, so, see? That transferred over. And we got the best one, the best radar available. So, that's a good thing. And you obviously, you can see it there. It's right there on the nose. So, the cool thing about this ship has four guns, two on each wing. And right under here, right under the fuselage, you can put two weapon racks. So, we're going to need to rebuy. Let's get those um, 
get the missile launchers back first. There you go. There you go. Might as well buy some missiles. My favorite. Damage wreck. We are full. And now, what guns? What guns you're thinking? Um, we were using Meson Blasters. Now, the higher grade I see would be these ones right here. This is a really good gun. It's, a, it's quite expensive if you got to buy four, but I'm telling you, this is a powerful weapon. The bolt definitely worth the 80,000 to put on the wing. So, got four of them. And what else do we need? We need. Let me go up the list. Okay, so you can get a shield generator three. We used to run a one. And here, engine upgrade one, two, and three. Well, definitely, we're. Okay, let's get this afterburner get that we're definitely going to get a engine upgrade three buy that that will give us a lot of power for the ship and especially for all these guns we're going to fire um as far as shields go this here this number three is going to add a lot of power it's going to add a lot of power drain due to the fact that we have all these weapons especially the guns firing off the recharge rated shields when we're taking damage so this is a little better than the one, obviously. Not as good as the three. But because this ship is m far more maneuverable and faster, we should be able to fare way better in combat. And the offensive capability of this ship is phenomenal. So we won't have to worry much. So let's just, I guess, stick with the two. Because I believe that's what I did back in the day. I would pick two. And pick three for the engine upgrade. Don't need that. <clears throat> of course, we need our tungsten. Yep, yeah, tungsten armor. Tractor beam. You know what? Uh, do we need to pick up some cargo? Well, I mean, this is more, like I said, if you're going to be role playing, then that'd be great. Don't really need it. I mean,. I don't have anything, any free weapon racks to put it on the front. I could add the tail turret and then add the tractor beam to the back. But I don't have many credits left. I want to use it on something that's worth my while. Here we go. And we didn't get this last time on the tour, so we want to get that to jump drive. This thing I was talking about, this repair droid. This is very handy. Thirty thousand. It's worth the buy. We'll repair it sometimes as you take damage. Slowly though. So we'll buy him. And let's buy one of these. Help break missile lock. Thirty thousand. We got enough. And that's it. It's pretty expensive, eh, to upgrade the ship. Like. That's why I grind it so much. There we go. Let's save our progress. I made a second save file or not. You know, try. So I guess we can. Let me see here. You know what? We're going to save right on top of this one because this is the one where I grind it and at this we can reuse this one if you wanted to for future purposes, but we'll put it under Chino for now. There we go. Let's see what the bartender has to say before we take off. Any news I can use? Check with me later after I've talked to some other folks. Okay, so he has nothing to say. Well, why don't we um, take her out for a 
test run. Show you what I mean. Defense base. I have two. Retro. Let's just take this one. This is right outside, I believe. Defend base. Hector and Troy. Yeah, we'll take. Mm, let me see if there's something better. Uh, 56 and 65. I don't need to have three retro guns. Let's take that one. Defend base. 58. Retro. They're all retro. This is where. Helen base. Okay, let's take that one as well. <coughs> Over to the hangar. Save. All right. Let's show you what this baby can do. All right, guns. Let me know if you hit trouble in my quad. Full power to the engines. And look at that, radar shows blue and red, so you can, you know, which your enemies are. Death to heathens, glory be unto the most high! These guys are friggin' nuts, man. Crazy religious fanatics. Oh, we got, if you press I on the keyboard, it activates that, um... <sighs> Your uh, gun sights, the leading guns. Oh, he's dead. Oh, I rammed him. Oops, that hurt me a bit. Oh, it's gone. The repair droid took care of that. Nice. My guns are okay. Perfect. Let's check our missions. Retro ships at nav. So let's go to nav six. Look how fast she is. Shoo. Look at that. And her top speed is 500 clicks per second. So it's... Um, <clears throat> I would say 50% faster than the Taurus. More or less. And there's another target. And this person's far away. Let's just speed up. With the afterburner, we get almost to 1,000 KPS, which is great. Now entering an automatic landing zone. Oh, we don't want that. I find it too close to the planet. And you can tell what the missiles are now. The missiles are yellow. These light fighters stand no chance against you, pretty much, with the amount of damage you can do. Can it be? Has the God of Man oh, yeah, you're dead. You can totally feel the difference between this and the Taurus. Well, that's a confed ship. What's it doing all the way out here? Oops. Target, target. There's a couple of them. All right. Let's go help the confeds. Boost in there. Oh, someone's on me. There's two confed. Con confed heavy fighters. Smoke them. Oh, whoa, oh, oh. whoa. That ain't too good. Alright, I got this guy. He is One dead. <laughs> Sounded like a Terminator. One bogey terminated. <laughs> Alright. He's done. Damn, he took a lot. I think that's it. Oh, oh, 
I gotta go to the actual knot point. My bad. Okay, so it's not like drop in, kill, and you can leave like the other two. Gotta actually touch the uh, knot point. There we go. That's it. All the missions are done. We can double check. See? Done. It's all uh, dark red. We're good to go. We can t land so they can be turned in and we can get paid. Watch. You go so fast. Only get, you don't even give this person a chance to do his little speech. Now entering an automatic landing. See? Cut him off. Let me see. We had, what, 26,000 uh, 26, credits or something? Let's see. Let me just check. The finances. Yeah, see? Now we got 44,000. Hit save. Gino. And let's just repair. Uh, the droid, you need to still repair your armor or your guns if they take a damage as well. So... Only the armor took damage, so that's good. It, I feel that droid is well worth the 30000 you buy him for because um, it'll save you a lot of repairs down the road. And you can still uh, engage into a next combat scenario if you need to. And all you got to do is wait for him to repair the internal systems. So you can get your shields back up or anything back up, assuming none of your internal systems have been destroyed. Okay, so we'll wrap this video up here. Um, if I remember correctly and what I've looked up, because, you know, like I said, it's been a while since I played this, uh, to start the storyline, you have to travel to a different system. So I'm going to stop the video right here. And in the next video, we will take off and we will make our way out of the Troy system for a little bit of exploration but really what we're doing is we're going to be going towards a completely new different system to start the storyline of this game so until that time stay tuned thank you for watching uh, another episode of Chino's Good Time in Gaming I will see you then